One of the most gratifying things about selling a meritorious product to the American public is their fine sense of gratitude when that product lives up to their best expectations. This certainly is the continuous experience of the makers of Kush and Salt. Letters from grateful users pour into them consistently from all over the nation, and every letter is read. As millions of users of Kush and know, there is a little pink slip in each package. This little slip is simply to tell users that the makers of Crucian are glad to learn at first hand the extent of everyone's success with their product. Incidentally, the pamphlet in the package tells every Crucian user that a wonderfully informative 20 page booklet is available free for the asking. This very interesting, authentic book booklet is entitled How to Achieve Stylish Slenderness Without Injuring Your Health. Many hundreds of thousands of people have sent for this booklet, and a great many of them have later asked for and received extra copies for friends, which only goes to show how people like to pass on to others good news and personally proven advice. Now, let's hear briefly what Miss Lita Wilson of City Island, New York, tells us. I realized I was getting too south, 220 pounds, and my physician advised me to take two pounds. I am now reduced by 48 pounds of steel fine. I'm delighted with you, Then there's this report from Miss M. Kepner of Convert that I absolutely relied upon. 
And to learn that he died this afternoon with a Buddhist priest at the same time. Well, I know there was a fair blow for a nurse youngster like you who just gets back from the seminary. I have money to pay with the parson before I stop trying to make Christians out of the wrong kind. Wrong kind? Well, there can be no right or wrong. Old Chinese, the wrong kind is to make fun for his father, Father Dyer. But like old dogs, they just be taught new tricks. If for the young, we must do our right. For if the new earth, we need to take root and grow to death. Who thinks that the new generation are faces making headway? Of course it is. Have you seen that for yourself? I'm not sure. I can't be certain of anything with these people. They're, they're so peculiar. Oh, they're not peculiar. They're just different. They have all the white men's faults and all these virtues, but they express them in opposite manner. You know that in China, the needle of the compass points south and seven north, but the people pay their doctors when they're well, and give them nothing when they're sick. The place of honor there is on the left, and the white is the dress of mourning. Oh, tell me, boy, tell me about the renegade soul of all these things who from his cradle saw things upside down from our viewpoint. And do you strive amongst the yellow boys and girls who were born on California Street? You'll find that when they take this reality seriously, they take it very serious indeed. Well, the sun striking the night. They said, I won't gather with you here another second. What with two masses, three Christians, and a wedding today, I'm tired to death. Better go to bed yourself. Yes, Father. How long do you suppose it will be before I meet one of those Chinese who take Christianity very seriously? The Lord will give you proof in his own good time, you boy. Uh, 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 stop, I'll answer, Father. Honey, come on, stop with a big man's door like that. What is this, a clock is struck there? Good evening. Thank you, Father. Charlie, that's the same. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I think compliments my master Apu. His honorable wife soon died. All his ass is dead. He is dumb and fresh, eh? What is it, Father? This man says that a dying Chinese woman sent one of us. Apu, wife, die, very soon. He is dumb. I just let his wife. Let me go, Father Gilfoy. You're so tired. Well, I'm never tired when there's duty to be done. But I'd like to go if you'll permit. Please, Father. Let me attend this woman's home. All right, of course. Perhaps you'll be the proof you were just now asking for. Thank you, Father. In some case, our poor wife will die. I'll be ready in a moment. Who is this our poor you come from? Where does he live? Our poor man, a poor master. I shall play with him. I thought I knew every living soul in Chinatown, but his name is Strange. I have everything. I'm ready. Come. I grew white. Soon die. Good night, Father. Where is this? Where is it? Isn't it like you just something strange about this place? Is it strange? Just no Chinese? Mm, awfully old. Looks like a pride of monkey. Isn't it something of poppy? It's just me too. That's my father. Yes, come. Yes. I grew white. Soon die. I don't like that messenger. Don't you were dying woman, Father? A Chinese food. Not a backslider. I must go. Come, come to the wife. Show me the way. I show. Good night, Father. Good boy. Good night, Father. I go like that messenger. This is strange. I let him. I noticed his house in passing, but I, I thought nobody lived here. This is an Asapu. My son died. End up being. Thank you. Of course. The dog is sick. Haven't you any lights here? I stop there. I call. Apu. Apu. Oh, there's a light showing up. I must have uh, Apu come. Apu. Sai San. Reverend Father, this is Apu. Bid you welcome to the scene of house. Can you see the way up my miserable stairs? Yes, thank you. Now that there's some light. Oh, have you called an American doctor for your sick wife, Mr. Ruth? No, Reverend Father. This jolly Apu has called no American physician. You must do so at once. With all due respect to your national medicine, a sick woman should not be entrusted to the care of a Chinese physician. I have secured no physician of my own race to attend my dying wife. No doctor at all? My wife requires a physician of the spirit, honorable master, not the healer of the body. Jane, to enter this humble room, please. Oh, Father. 
Holy Father, you have come to me at last. Allow me, Lavalent Father, to present my wife. Your wife, sir? Well, that girl is sick. You were not told she was sick. You were told she was dying. Dying? Hmm? Why, she's as well as I am. She is dying, worthy superior, because I am about to kill her. What? You will note that you approach closer that she is bound to the chair she sits in. About her throat is a silken cord now loose, which will soon be pulled tight to stop her breath. You, you fucking yellow beast, we'll see about that. I stand like one. Yes, yeah. make her have something. Open that door. Help. Police. Oh, Father, don't struggle against my husband's oh. servant. You like me are helpless here. Oh, Miss Precious, don't delay. Give me the last rush of holy shirt. Feel my confession and absolve me for my sins. Oh, I beg you, holy father. You think I'll let him kill you as he's present? I'm not that one. Let me go, you Help! Help! Oh, father! Father, it is you! I beg you, worthy father, to this from your vain effort. The wife of this unprepossessing Afu has spoken through. Struggle is useless. There is nothing you can do to save her life. But as she is of your Christian faith, you can prepare what you call her soul. Oh, Father, please, Father, give me absolution. Then you can go. You may call the police. Call anyone you wish. Yes. Then you may go and tell anyone you wish. You, you mean when I hear your wife's confession, you let me go to bring the police upon your head? Yes. I swear it on the blood of a white cock. And that is an oath which no Chinese will break. I... I don't understand. This, this must be some joke you're playing. An unholy joke on a priest that loves your people. Oh, no, Father. No. We play no jest on you, my worthy friend. But if you meant to kill this girl, you wouldn't swear an oath that I'd be released to tell. The oath of praise to a natural. There's a horrid something in this room. Something I can only feel. What is it that's so awful here? Confess me, Father. Oh, give me absolute strength. His duty is to control. I need consolation, Father. Oh, my knees are great. Hear my confession. And the palm of my feet. I'll hear your confession. But if this is a trick to mock the holy church, may the curse of God fall on you all. I swear it is no trick. Confess me, Father. Very well. Leave us alone. I stand. Be quiet, my servant, please. I regret that I must remain. Oh! My husband already knows what I am about to tell you, Father. And if he left us here alone, you could not help me to escape. His gate is quite impossible. I have prepared myself for this The cause that drive me to this chair will not let me kneel before you. Those cords, unfortunately, cannot be removed. We'll see about that later. Proceed, my sister. Bless me, Father. For I have seen a sin that has brought me unto sin. Bless me, Father. And I'm going to talk to you. See there, there's a sight. I can trust you, Almighty God. The Blessed Mary ever been. That I have loved. Not my husband. But another. <laughs> Man old enough to be your father when you were promised to me. My very wish that you know. You know a daughter, Mr. Bates. Yes, in China. You and I are no longer Chinese. We were born here in San Francisco. Neither of us can even speak correctly in our mother tongue. We are Americans. If you'd only been with me, to give me strength to a few. Of course, there was a way of preparing for our future. You were weak enough to take our food. Oh, well, you must understand and forgive me, Ma. You must forgive me, Ma. You must. Oh, it wasn't because I... Oh, it wasn't because I... Oh, it wasn't because I didn't love you. I shall always love you. And you understand me, Mother? I am. Oh, no, wait. In my letters, instead of waiting, and I... I thought it would be easy and kind of for us to know. You must know that we were sweet, Mother. We found you here. We must not meet again. 
shall not intrude upon your domestic happiness. Don't blame me too much. Please. I can't be angry with you. I can't give you up. Me alone. I love you. I love you. Be like that. I am the wife of our food. I mean to be a good wife. meeting Paul his father after I had married him. I couldn't stop loving him anymore. I made him come to see me when my husband was away. But we were only kissing. That's the law. You know I speak the truth. But who are you? I speak to God. Proceed, my sister. One afternoon, about a month later, when me and I come to see me, I said a second curtain was left. And that night, all three were changing I had been listening behind that curtain. I had the right, for you were my honorable wife. Yes, I was your wife, in tiny bodies. Then we must sing again, for the last time. This is my talking rule. When I investigated the records, I found your marriage is not registered according to United States law. No license was ever taken out. But our fool's name and mine were written on tablets and bound together with a red pen. That is the marriage way of China. We live in California. You, like me, are a Christian. Have you forgotten the precepts of your faith? Oh, I've been afraid to go to church. There, I know I'm not many for our faith. There's no claim at all upon you. Other than foolish papers bound with a foolish cord. You and I will be married by a priest with a license and a ring. Like the Americans, we are. Our people will disown us. Our parents, first of all. We have our lives to live, not theirs. Well, our fool will be humiliated. We will lose faith. Who cares? He has no right to think of his issue. Oh, no, no, no! 
Yes. Draw the first little knife. He says the name of the right guy. I use it. Oh! That's no thing, isn't it? One draws the knife slowly and carefully. A man may live for hours. Oh, I can't believe. Well, look behind the curtain. I will. Oh, oh. 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 it's a fool. It's a heathen. Ah, who is the avenger of his father? You, you, you are don't think of him, father, but of me. Will God forgive me, I think? Will you give me absolute? Oh, my sister, for the sin is going to punish what you had. If, if you think he's punished enough, and give me absolute. I would give you what you ask. Absolute of a day, a dominant process, and the me a spirit of oh, kindness of our men. Have a lot. Oh, God. You need have no fear of this. I believe in this filthy house, and you are going with me. I regret that for my honorable wife, I have made contrary plans. That cord about her neck is to be used for the teaching of another ancient custom of my people. The thousand and one painful death. I have heard of that trial, Cortez. You would slowly tighten the cord and she breathe no more. Then unloose it and bring her to. Then repeat the process again and again. That cord tells not to use. I'll keep that. I stand likewise. Don't put your bloody hands on me. Let go of me. You are unworthy servants to be blessed. The necessity of the right. Hey, please let me listen to you. You talk of your tiny honor. I have your oath and I shall be allowed to pass free through that door. I shall keep my oath. And you may summon the police if you will. They will come too late. So I stand. The door is open, the Reverend Father. You are at liberty. Now, like one. The first of a thousand and one painful death begins. Oh, oh no. you piece of hell. Police, police, help, help, police. I see it. It's the book. It's my prayer book. I must do something. 
And that proved that I was here. Look, their footprints are the My footprints. Oh, my God. You say another man left you in this house and up these stairs. Yes, yes, I, I don't understand. We'll soon find out. Come on, boy. Which is the room, Father? That one there. We'll break it open, Mike. Go to it. There's a door and lock. There's the room, Benson. And everything here. Just everywhere and undisturbed. Just a single pair of footprints. The same footprints, Father, that you're to leave now. But it's the room I just left. And it was full of people. There the girl sat in her Chinese nurse this morning night. And off who stood there. And there was the man who held the coin. And over there, wait, over there was an alcove. Behind the curtain where the dead boy lay. The alcove now, at the wall, and all the rest. Hey, sounds like this is a thing, Patsy. Couldn't have been built in France since Father Ryan left it. Give it the axe. Yes. Oh, they played a trick here. I'm all bewildered. But, but the right. Look through the hole. Good Lord. Two skeletons. The tiny woman's dress of morning. It's the same one the girl wore. And the other. About those couple of boats, I recognize the little fragments of the boy's clothes. Oh. I remember the powerful one. How he was the owner of the house. Remember, 
Pershing is also taken daily by millions of people who are not overweight. They take a tiny pinch of Pershing in their morning coffee just to keep them feeling fit. Remember, too, that Pershing is prescribed by more doctors throughout the world than any other medicinal salt or crystal. So don't hesitate. Don't slip another day. Go to your nearest drug counter, get a jar of the original, original, genuine Pershing salt, and begin taking your half teaspoonful in a glass of hot water tomorrow morning. You'll soon see just what vivacious people mean when they say they have that Prussian feeling. <laughs> well, Satan, you and me have sucked up a very pussy yard to sing these folks that they call out of sex. It's a cheerful story of black magic, and we call it Devil Hair.